Hey, it's Mike with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Today, I want to show you a really cool tool to allow you to do a video discussion board. It's a lot more engaging than a Blackboard discussion board. It allows students to uh, chat with each other and answer a prompt that you may have. So let's get right to it. Um, so this is actually a Microsoft um, product called Flip. And it used to be called Flipgrid for those of you who might have used it in the past. So if you go to flip.com here, you'll see I have all of these options. And I can go ahead and sign up if I'm not signed up already. So I'll click sign up here on the right hand side. <clears throat> and I'm going to sign up with Microsoft. And here's where I can use my William & Mary username. Actually my whole email address and say next. And I'll choose work or school account. And here's where I will put in my William & Mary password. And I'll click Sign In. OK, and once I'm in, you'll see here's the Flipgrid interface, the Flip interface. And um, I've got a few groups here. It works by group. You'll notice I have five groups. I set up a group for a class. So I'll say plus group here at the top right. And I can create a group. And I'll go ahead and create a classroom group, make it easy. And I can choose um, University here and Next. So I can name the group. Let's say it was a medieval English class. And I could edit the theme if I want. I could add an image in there so that it's not so that it'll be um, something more related to my course but I'm going to skip that for now. I can have anyone with the link join, which is probably what I want to do. Um, or I can add people with their email address or even use Google Classroom. But I'm going to go ahead and just leave anyone with the link can join. And I'll click Create Group. So that's it. Now I can go ahead and copy the link. And I can just paste that link right in my Blackboard site and it's ready to go. What happens when I actually go to that link? Let's take a look. So students will see this and they will see, oh, here's a general question. Um, they, wouldn't, they probably wouldn't know what to do with it, but I can add a topic if I'd like. So I'll go ahead and click Add a Topic. And I can say Introduce Yourself. <clears throat> Please let us know a bit about you and why you took the class. Whatever you want to do. And we can set a recording time and let's say we want it to be short. A minute 30 seconds is the maximum we want for this one. But you notice we can set it up for a maximum of 10 minutes total. Um, we could add a top, uh, an attachment if we wanted to. We could record a video introduction if we wanted to um, so that your, the students will see that video. Let me go ahead and record a video. And you'll notice I get this Flip wants to use your camera and use your microphone. I will say allow. And here I am. And I can just start recording. Hey, it's Mike Bloom. I'm with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. And today we're talking about Flip and how easy it is to do a video discussion board on Flip. So I've done my recording. I'll click Next. And I can edit if I want. I can chop some of it off, whatever. I'm going to leave it the way it is, but you can do that. And I'll say Next. There's a cover photo. I look fine in it, so I'll say All right. And I'll say Submit. It uploads the video, and I can post that topic. Click Post Topic, and I say All Set. And there it is. Now I have that introductory video. I have zero responses, but now a student can go ahead and they can go right in and record their response. So if you want, you can actually have the join code for this topic as well. You don't have to have just the group join code. There's a topic join code. I'm here and I could click the join code, but that just gives me the numbers. Um, I can hit share and I can copy that link. And that's the link to the introduce yourself. So I'll say copy. Great, and now I'll go to a Blackboard site and I'll paste that right in there. So here I am in a Blackboard site and I've created 
a content area called video discussion. And I can go ahead and just add that right to my content area. So I'll say build, build content and I can create a web link. I'll go ahead and paste that link that I copied and I will call this introduce yourself. And I can give it a description if I want. Um, you know, whatever that might be, but I don't have to. I'll just click Submit. So there's the Introduce Yourself, and as students click on that link, the flip will open up, and you can go ahead and introduce yourself, and students can click Add Response, and they will go ahead and add their response right to it. So that's all you need to do to create um, an engaging video discussion board. Students can add responses and then other students will be able to respond to those as well. So let me click on add response just so you see what that looks like. And you'll get that flip wants to use your camera and use your microphone. You'll click allow. And here I am again and I can click record. Hey, this is Mike, and here's my response to that Flipgrid asking me to introduce myself. And I'll click Next. Hey, this is Mike, and here's my response to that. And I can add music, I can do whatever I want. I'll say Next. I can give it a caption. And if I wanted to, I could give it a link, but I'm just going to post it to the topic. And now you'll notice that I'm done. And I can go to the topic. And here's the student response, and students can then click on it, hey, this is watch it, my response to that. add a comment if they want, so they can either add a text comment, or they can add a video comment. And I'll do that now. Hey Mike, that was a great post that you just created. I learned a lot about you, and now I definitely want to be your pal. Hey Mike, that was And that's it, and I'll click Submit. And then you can send that comment. So now we're all set. We have this student, Michael B, has, has posted and we can see all the comments below.